Hello, my name is Einar Jordan. I suffer from interstitial cystitis of the bladder. Since 2006, I had two diagnoses. This is my preliminary results doing a fetal matter transplant at home, do it yourself. Um, within 48 hours, the pain um, have disappeared. There is some minor discomfort still remaining. Uh, but this is the first time I had controlled the pain with all the experiments I've done and testing and supplements and, proce and procedures since 2006. I'm not a doctor. Uh, this is not medical advice. And I'm also not a certified dietitian. I have about 90 credits of chemistry and microbiology as a laboratory technician. Um, I have a bachelor's and master's in healthcare and management areas um, and over 20 years as a quality engineer in biotech, pharma, R&D, process development and mostly quality systems. Uh, again, I was diagnosed in 2006 and then after that in 2007, it became, it developed into many other issues and health problems. Uh, fibromyalgia, interstitial, uh, sorry, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, etc. So I stumbled on this, uh, trying to find a solution for irritable bowel syndrome. Um, the hypothesis appears to be bacterial and or their toxins in nature, as well as some mechanical issues. That's probably why uh, in us, this condition uh, focuses on the bladder, the bladder pain. Uh, and this probably could be the reason why aloe vera, uh, freeze-dry aloe vera tends to work uh, since uh, aloe vera has some, uh, uh, is, is very effective against uh, different bacteria. Um, carnivore diet is also being very helpful uh, and it probably works on the same principles as it suppresses sugar in your gut. Uh, and the sugar allows bacteria to grow uh, at exponential rates. Uh, it, um, so this probably could be the reason why they observe a lot of mass activation cells and why even after some people have um, removed their bladder, they still continue to have pain because uh, tissue still remains and uh, mass activation cells may still be uh, there reacting. And why they also suspect that um, uh, different diets uh, cause this with high histamine. Um, and this is my hypothesis. Uh, I, I'm still in 48 hours of testing. I'll probably continue this procedure for several weeks and then I'll do a little bit here and there. So I have also tried intermittent fasting with carnivore diet. That also has been very, very helpful. Um, I guess it, it suppresses the bacteria as well. Um, there is some research I found that, uh, that shows that on IC patients, there is either certain bacteria, a group of bacteria, I can remember five or six, that are missing uh, from our gut and or in very, very small amount. Um, so after the 48 hour period, I, I didn't do with, within this protocol, I'll try to do a separate video on the protocol. I tried to still follow a low carb diet, about hundred grams, because you want that bacteria that you're, you're ingesting to grow special in the colon, uh, a little faster and better and compete, I'll compete the bacteria that's causing the issue. So. Um, I added several trigger foods that in the past just had a significant impact on the pain, increased the pain, etc. Uh, so just uh, chocolate, a little bit of coffee. I, I didn't go crazy and a little bit of wine. And I did not have an issue. My sleep improved significantly to where it's right now 4 a.m. and I want to go out for a run. Like I haven't had this level of energy in a long time. Uh, anxiety also decreased significantly within 48 hours even in a carnivore diet uh, where the depression disappeared, uh, the 
the anxiety still uh, improved, but didn't really go away to where I could meditate easily again. Um, if you know anyone doing research on this area uh, and or doctors, please forward this to them. I know that it's just one person study. I don't have the funding and or uh, the availability of um, any resources to do any further experimentation other than with myself. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not, this is not what I do for a living. I, I can probably figure it out, but it, it will probably be for better people that, are, that already have resources, systems and experience in place to, to do this. It, it will just be too, too long a time, too long a learning curve for me to start doing this on a full-time basis. Uh, if anyone has any questions or wants me to add to this subject um, uh, details uh, on future videos, please let me know. Um, this is my first YouTube video, as you probably noticed. I, I, I never done this before. So um, I hope this can help you and um, best of luck.